The brands I don't see in this town a lot is Givenchy, Christian Dior, Versace, Hermes bags. Those are bags that I never or rarely ever see in my town in the wild. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel or if you're new, uh, thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today and we're talking about bags in the wild, around town, what I've seen, what, what people are carrying in my city. I say town a lot because I'm originally from a small town and I graduated <laughs> a long time ago and my graduating class was only 140 seniors that graduated. I'm from a small town, but then I live in a city, <laughs> but it's not a huge city. I just wanted to share what I've been seeing in my neck of the woods, if you will. I'm gonna make this a tag video, cause I'm curious, what do you see in your town or your big city or small air, rural areas? What what bags and brands are you seeing? I'm curious and I'm nosy and I, I'm gonna tell you what I've seen and lately I've seen a lot of different brands that maybe you're not familiar with or maybe you are and you've never considered buying them. But here, I on my channel, I am in the bag world of community with other YouTubers, and so we all share, you know, our finds for Dooney and Burks, Coach, you know, all the special deals that are going on. So I'm in kind of a different element of bags, and sometimes that's what I get noticed for is my bags because they haven't seen them <laughs> because a lot of them shop around locally or they'll buy from Amazon or they'll go to Kohl's and uh, a lot I've seen in the thrift stores uh, a lot of Rosetti brands so either they wear their bags for a really long time here or they get just 20 or 30 dollar brand bags so I'm gonna share a couple of them that I've seen lately I actually when we went to a restaurant uh, the other day, I saw a lady coming in with a YSL Lulu puffer bag, and I believe it was the small size, and I will have eye candy up here for you as I'm going along with what I've seen. So I did see a black one with gold hardware, and I was like, what? I've never seen a YSL around here. <laughs> and... You know, there are Louis Vuittons that I pop that pop up every once in a while. I've seen the Graceful, I've seen the Artsy, I've seen the Pochette Accessoire, but not a lot of Louis Vuitton. And I definitely don't see Fendi. I have not seen Givenchy ever. <laughs> and I'm not crazy or alone on this. Us bag lovers, we end up looking at everyone's bags, right? <laughs> I'm not alone. So you want to, you're curious about what they're carrying. So this is kind of a college city town. So there are Lululemon belt bags all over the place because of college kids. It's affordable. It's $30 to $50 belt bags. I have two. <laughs> and, or you'll see them carrying a, one of them ring bracelets with their keys on it and a card wallet. That's what I see with the younger generation, just carrying around a wallet and their keys on their little round wristlet. Well, since I bought my Portland Leather Goods circle bag uh, that you can see back there, I actually saw one in Carline picking up my daughter. <laughs> And by the way, the Circle Bag is actually their number one selling bag on Portland Leather Goods, which I didn't know until recently. So I saw a black Circle Bag just like mine, but black, and she was walking in to get her kid. I was like, 
there's a Portland leather good bag. And then I saw, um, at church, I saw a mini crossbody bag in the Portland leather goods and it was in yellow. So I'm starting to see a little more Portland leather goods. Um, and then I occasionally see a Brighton bag, not as much anymore. Or I'll see the Myra bags, if you're familiar with that brand. I'm not super familiar with it, but I've been seeing those lately. I've been seeing the Amazon bags that are, I'll pop up a picture, cause I'm not sure, you know, the name of it, but it's it's kind of similar to an Emery bag, Coach Emery bag shape, but it has a nylon strap. And I'll pop up a picture and they're, affordable bags and I see them all the time. I also see a lot of Dooney and Burks around here. Whether it's a Zip Zip Satchel or like a Hobo Style or a Backpack, those are pretty frequent also. And another thing is we're about 45 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour away from a Coach Outlet store so I see a lot of coach outlet bags and um, either with the prints you know or a row in here and there but and some of them have the older coach bags i think that they just keep them and keep them and wear them i also have been noticing uh, a lot of the walmart dupes of the louis vuitton inspired looking bags i've seen an on-the-go looking bag in the Walmart print. I've seen the belt bags. I've seen the dupe for the Pochette Matisse look-alike bag. I've seen that around. I also see a lot of Nine West bags and again affordable. You can find those I believe at uh, Kohl's or a Walmart. I could be wrong. <laughs> And I also see the Walmart brand. Two thousand years later. Time and True. The Time and True brand at Walmart has been getting a little bit better and better, I notice. And then they also follow the trends of today, but for much less of a cost than the expensive brands. So I've been seeing those as well. So I've seen and a variety of lower end priced bags and which is fine i i am not opposed because i have right now i'm carrying my that's backwards my tj maxx bag and that's where a lot of people shop tj maxx ross marshall's i've shopped there this is a madison west i just showed this on a video it is amazing. It's not leather, but it's soft. Its quality is really good. I think it was $30 and it has feet on the bottom. So a lot of people also are into Patricia Nash. Uh, they're also into just the brands that you see, like Michael Kors. I'll see those every once in a while. Not as much lately, but some Michael Kors bags will pop up. Uh, those are the brands that I've seen and I've noticed lately. I want to know what you've seen in your town or your city. Because I have friends on YouTube from Australia, from Canada, from all over the world. So I'm curious as to what the brands that they see on a regular basis. Because these are the brands in the Midwestern Missouri town that I live in. That's what I see. So I'm gonna tag a few people. You know, you don't have to pop up pictures. You can just say what, you know, the bags you've seen. Cause I know I'm not alone on this and everyone on this community, if you're a handbag lover, you're looking at people's bags and I'm curious. So I'll tag a few people. You're not obligated to do it. If I don't tag you, feel free to do this video. Cause I'm curious and I'm thinking my audience would also be curious of what that you're seeing and also as a subscriber what do you see in your town put it down in the comments down below i'm really curious of what price range 
do you only see the luxury brands? Do you only see what I see, which is like more contemporary to lower end brands? This was just a last minute video idea that I had and I hope that you all enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, it is free. And also, I don't ever usually say this, but why don't you share my channel to other handbag lovers and it'll just help my channel grow. And I appreciate all my new subscribers and also, uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, AKB Bags. I'll pop it here. I'm popping up different pictures and what I'm wearing or if there's a video available for you to watch. I usually alert people there in case they miss it. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. I'd much appreciate it. So until next time, though, I will talk to you soon. Bye.